Welcome to Education Today. I'm Eli Hickman. And I'm Ivy Lash of Armstrong High School in the Armstrong School District. Tonight we are talking with Mr. Doug Flanders, math teacher at Armstrong High School. He is not only a math teacher, but a coach of tennis and softball at Armstrong High School. Welcome to Education Today. Can you please introduce yourself and tell us what you do? Yeah, I'm uh, Doug Flanders. I'm a math teacher here at Armstrong High School. I currently teach Algebra 1 Essentials, which you two should know about and Algebra 2. Uh, I coach girls softball, assistant, I'm assistant for girls softball, and uh, I co-coach girls tennis. What made you want to be a teacher? Well, my mom was a teacher, so it's kind of in my blood. And I've always enjoyed working with kids, and I wanted to coach sports. So I was trying to think of a job where I could coach and work with kids, so obviously I picked teaching. Uh, I decided to be a math teacher because math was so easy for me and uh, I love the hours of a teacher. I enjoy my summers and I grew up in the Armstrong School District so it was pretty cool that I got to teach where I grew up. Where did you attend college? Uh, I graduated college from uh, the University of Pitt at Pittsburgh at Johnstown. I have a bachelor's degree in secondary math education and uh, I student taught at Connemaw Township, which is a little uh, high school, real small school outside Johnstown. How long have you been teaching in the Armstrong School District? I've been teaching in this district 17 years. Um, I've taught in just about every building that exists from Ellert Ellerton Elementary, Catanning Township Elementary, uh, Catanning Junior High, Catanning Area Middle School, and uh, Catanning Senior High School. I've taught uh, all kind of different classes uh, from little kids, gifted elementary math, the whole way up to high school seniors in Algebra 3 trick. <clears throat> How did you become involved in the athletic program? Well, um, I told you I loved sports growing up, and uh, when I started teaching, they needed coaches pretty badly. So <clears throat> I started coaching uh, junior high basketball at uh, Catanning Middle School. And then that stemmed into varsity basketball coach for some years up at the Catanning High School. Uh, I also was really good at baseball when I was in high school. So I became varsity baseball coach, uh, assistant. And my brother was in school and he, was, uh, he needed someone to help coach. So that kind of pushed me into baseball with him. And uh, so now I've blossomed back into girls coaching, so that's why I coach girls tennis now and girls softball. So hopefully it's a little less stressful for me. What challenges do the teams face, if any? Uh, there's lots of challenges today uh, for athletes. Um, the biggest challenge is how to be a good teammate, how to be a good player, how to manage your time. Um, you have to manage your schoolwork and your classwork on the field, off the field. You represent your community, you represent your school. There can be a lot of pressure. Um, they need to be dedicated. A lot of them have jobs, so it's difficult to schedule practices and games. We're a big school now, so we have uh, long road trips. Um, it takes a special kind of person to make everything work and uh, to be that great teammate that everyone's looking for. What are some of the responsibilities that come along with the position you are in now? In softball, uh, I'm kind of the enforcer. I keep the girls in line. I tell them how I feel. Um, I hit infield and outfield. Before the games, I, I hit the outfield. I coach the JV team. Um, I want to try to get all the girls a lot of playing time. I want to improve the girls for the future. Um, I try to keep them level-headed um, in tennis. Uh, right now, I'm working with the junior high girls. We're having a clinic, and I'm the assistant coach, or I'm co-coach for the varsity. And many of the girls, when they come to me, they've never even played tennis before. So I have to show them all the proper strokes and techniques and how to serve. And uh, I think we have a good time. But the biggest thing of all is I want them all to be improved. So I want to take them at a certain level when they start and have them finish at a much higher level when they graduate. Is there any other information you'd like to, sh to share regarding your job or information that you feel people should know and understand? Yeah, uh, once you become a teacher, it never stops. You might think, oh, okay, it's the summertime now, I'm off, or it's the weekend, no. 
you know, I'll have uh, college students text me on my phone or email me or call me and say, Mr. Flanders, I, I need help with this math question. I'll have parents in the community come to me and say, hey, can you help my son, son or daughter tonight or next week? Um, I have relatives that will get a hold of me. Uh, you know, I help little kids, clear to adults. Teaching never ends. Um, it, don't just think it ends, you know, oh, they have their summers off because I do not. You know, I tutor and I'm there to help everyone. Where or how can people find out more information about the sports? Um, you can get on the ASD website. Um, on the site, it has uh, the schedules. You can stop up at uh, Armstrong High School, and there's uh, posters in the, law, or in the office, and there's pocket calendars. Uh, and that'll tell you where all the Riverhawk games are, the times, the locations. Um, so uh, tennis is a fall sport. Softball right now is a spring sport. Also, they're building uh, new athletic fields. So if you're looking for our sports, um, tennis and softball are in Catanning right now. But next year, both will be located up at the new high school. OK, thank you very much. We're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back with Armstrong School District's education today. Success. We see it every day. Hundreds of majors and programs, bachelor's degrees to PhDs, small classes, internationally known faculty who are committed to your success. Real world experiences to guide you on your career and life path, an alumni network 120,000 strong. I'm IUP President Mike Driscoll. Visit us. Find your success at Indiana University of Pennsylvania. Vince McCurry, Executive Director of The Open Door. Worried? Scared? Confused? Not sure where to turn for help? The Open Door, a behavioral health organization, has a full range of addiction counseling services and mental health crisis intervention services which may be able to help. Call 724-465-2605 or 1-877-333-2470 the Open Door, Steps Towards Hope, Courage, and Recovery. Brought to you by the Armstrong, Indiana Drug-Free Communities Coalition. It's hard to explain. It just became home. There are hundreds of majors and programs, bachelor's degrees to PhDs, small classes and faculty that really get to know you. Amazing internships and everywhere, programs that help to find a job that is right for you. It's what IUP is about, a commitment to your success. See it for yourself. Visit us, Indiana University of Pennsylvania. Find your success. We're back with Armstrong School District's Education Today. Tonight we are talking with Mr. Doug Flanders. Let's talk a little bit about what the math program actually does. What levels of math do you teach? Uh, I told you I've currently taught lots of different math levels. But right now, I'm teaching Algebra 1 Essentials and Algebra 2. Okay? And the goal in those classes, in the Algebra 1 class, is to get the kids ready for their Keystone exam. In the Algebra 2 class, I'm trying to prepare them for college. So what I like to do is I try to clear up, you know, most kids come to me at that class and, and they're making mistakes and they don't understand math. So what I want to do is I want to clear up all their mistakes and their misconceptions about math and I want to push them to a higher level. So when they come to me, they just barely know the basics or confused and when they leave me, they have confidence about math and they know that they can succeed. What are the requirements for the different levels of math? Okay, in elementary school, uh, a lot of it depends on your grades and a teacher recommendation. Okay, a teacher, uh, teacher recommendation and they take a standardized test. All of those things together put them into a track in junior high school. College prep, business, uh, whatever track that is. Then when they're in junior high they have to have a prerequisite grade. So for instance if you're in pre-algebra you need to have I think a, like a, an A or a B or maybe even a C to move on to the next level of Algebra 1. If they don't make that, they slow down. They might branch off into a paced track or something to that uh, avenue. Uh, when you're in high school uh, and you're a college prep student, you have choices. Uh, once you hit Algebra 2, you can decide, do you want to go to Algebra 3 trig 
or do you want to slow down? Once you complete Algebra 3 Trig, do you want to be pushed into Calculus, or do you want to slow down? It all depends on what you're going for in college and um, what you decide to do. Do you work with other math teachers in the district to build the math program? Yeah, uh, during in-service days, uh, we meet, we discuss the math, math curriculum all the time. Uh, we're trying to make improvements, trying to make it better. Um, we want the best for our students, uh, especially me. Um, any suggestions that I have, I bring it up to math department heads, and then we go to the principals, and we try to make things work. Maybe add a class, get rid of a class that we don't think is very beneficial. Um, that's what we do on in service days. Do do you do any tutoring for students that are struggling? Yeah, I'm a math tutor. Um, when I'm not coaching, especially uh, throughout the school year, after school. I have uh, kids that like to stay, uh, also kids that I don't even know, they'll walk into my room and say, hey, can you help me with math? And, and I do that after school. Like I said, uh, I also tutor college uh, students and adults and uh, even elementary kids. Do you have trouble balancing school with sports? <laughs> I'm always on the go. People say, you know, I'm one of those hyper teachers and no one can ever find me because I am literally busy 24-7. Um, but at the same time, I don't think I have trouble with it. Um, it can be difficult, but you have to stay ahead of the kids. So when I'm teaching my math classes, I usually know about a week ahead what I'm going to do. Uh, I do my lesson plans, so I have the whole week planned out. I have pocket calendars where I keep track of all my sporting events and practice times. So I stay organized. So I don't have trouble balancing it. I understand there's a program in place that helps students pass their keystones. What is it and what do you do? Well, you guys both have it. Um, it's called Algebra 1 Essentials. And this is a new class this year at Armstrong. And the class is designed to help students pass the keystone. And I'm one of the instructors. And what I do is I cover all the topics that are going to be on the keystone test to help students succeed. <clears throat> um, they're Algebra 1 topics. But in my opinion, a lot of the topics are higher level than just Algebra 1. And I'm proud to say my kids did very well in the Keystone this year. Did you ever play sports in high school? Oh, yeah. I, sports is a huge part of my life growing up. Um, I played baseball in high school, and, you know, little league the whole way up through. Um, I played basketball. Um, I was the point guard on the team for Catanning. Um, I played soccer. Um, I also played golf. Uh, when, when, even back when I was in uh, high school, our home course was Lenape. So uh, I came through the Armstrong Central time. So in Armstrong Central, we had a golf team. Then we broke off back into Catanning. We didn't have golf anymore, and I needed something to do, so I decided to play soccer. Uh, basketball and baseball have been part of my life forever. What made you want to be a coach? Uh, the love of sports uh, made me want to be a coach and the enjoyment of teaching students and kids. Um, plus, uh, you know, I'm one of those teachers, hey, Mr. Flanders, we need help. You know, we know that they'll come up to me and they'll say, hey, I, we, know, we heard you were really good in baseball or basketball. Can you help coach us? Uh, and coaching, to me, is a form of teaching. That's what it is. So, you know, I love teaching. I love what I do. So if, if you can extend that into the coaching aspect, then life's awesome. What is the key to a su successful sports season? Um, well, everybody has different definitions of success. Uh, my key that I like for my teams is the improvement. Okay, So I'm taking uh, kids that might not be very good, and by the end you say, hey, you know, I've really improved. I did a good job. Or you could take kids that um, are teetering on novice, you know, and I want to push them into that expert level. Um, I also want them to be uh, good athletes off the court or off the softball field. I try to teach them about life. I try to be a good role model. Okay? I try to uh, uh, teach them how to be a good teammate. Um, and when you can do improvement and you can see uh, your athletes doing what you want them to do, that really makes you feel proud as a coach. For those who may want to be involved in an athletic program, what steps do they have to take to be part of the team? Um, well, first thing they have to do is pass a sports physical um, from their doctor. 
then they have to have a tryout. Um, now, when we were in a small school, we really didn't cut a whole lot because we didn't have a lot, a lot of athletes. Well, now we're at Armstrong. We, you know, we're combining schools together. So now uh, we do cut. Um, you know, it's not the end of the world. You know, they always said, you know, Michael Jordan got cut off his basketball team. So I encourage athletes, you know, if you want to play a sport, definitely try out. And if you don't make it, don't get discouraged because if it's something you really want to do, you know, get better. Um, once they do that, they have to attend all practices and games. Now that sounds, okay, well obviously, right? Well, you know, you got to remember there's work out there. A lot of these kids work, they have their own cars. Um, a lot of uh, students come from split families, you know, and uh, we have away games that are far away and it's not as easy as you think, you know, to try to balance your, uh, your time. But I always encourage people to get involved in the activities, especially the kids, you know. You only go through high school one time, the high school time is short, it should be fun. And uh, part, of the, part of coaching, I want the kids to have fun and I want them to learn about the sport. Do you think kids in multiple sports have trouble keeping their grades up or do you think it's beneficial? I, I don't see a problem uh, with uh, kids playing multiple sports. I think it's good to be real uh, well-rounded. You know, it's, it's all about time management. You know, you have to be able to balance your time. You know, I, me as a teacher and uh, the athletes, um, like I said, many of them work and life's full of choices. So you have to decide, you know, hey, what's more important here? Um, but what you'll find is most of the athletes are the best students in the school. Um, they're well-rounded kids, you know. Uh, most of my kids that I coach are, you know, they're always on the honor roll. Um, they have, uh, kids today have such advantages uh, than when I was in school. You know, we have uh, new facilities being built. We have a brand new school. We're playing top level teams where someday they'll say, hey, I played against this pitcher, you know, when I was in high school. Or, hey, you know, this NBA player dunked on me. You know, these are stories that you get in a big high school that you don't get in a small high school. Is there anything else you would like to add for the benefit of our viewers? Uh, the only thing I want to add is I want to talk to the community and say, hey, guys, you know, come out and watch these kids because you will be very impressed. I don't care what sport it is. Um, come check out the new athletic facilities when they're done. Um, show support to your softball team, your baseball team, even tennis. Come and check things out. Um, a lot of times admission's free, so uh, you don't even need to pay anything. And I think you'll get a lot of enjoyment and uh, you'll see what's out there and what these kids are doing today. Well, that's our show for today. I'd like to thank Mr. Doug Flanders for taking the time out of his schedule to join us. Our thanks also go out to the TV production students of Armstrong High School, led by their teacher, Mr. Josh Miklos. They were our film crew today. Please join us again next week for another look at the Armstrong School District. DV DVD copies of this and all Education Today programming can be found, can be requested by contacting Chris Garitano, multimedia technician at Armstrong High School. Visit our website for updated information about the district and have a great week.